Hello, Conrad. Hello, Here we Palm go. Springs point of view. Yeah. Hey, that's right. Hello, Palm Springs point of view viewers. <laughs> Another busy week, huh? We have a lot to talk about today. Of uh, course. You know. <laughs> the desert is alive. Uh, yeah, exactly. And a very, very, very heated weekend, right? That's right. <laughs> as that's far right. as hot. We're going to cover, well, Palm Springs made national news with the peaceful protest um, for the statue of Marilyn Monroe to be moved from Museum Way. Right. Hashtag Me Too Marilyn is what it's known as. And you're talking about a annual fundraiser by the boys and, for the Boys and Girls Club, right? Correct. Boys and, boys and Girls Club of Cathedral City, yes. Of Cathedral City. Okay, yes. so is there a Boys and Girls Club in each city here? I believe so. Okay, all right. And Conrad, you had a chance to sit down with a newcomer to the desert, Peter Grant, and take a look and discuss his photography book. He is a gifted photographer. It's an artfully risque book called Athletes. Correct. Okay. All right, Claudia. So there was a little bit of, there was a lot of excitement this weekend regarding the Maryland statue that's coming in right in front of uh, Museum Way. You were there. Tell us all about it. Yes. Uh, well, this is the first peaceful protest, uh, which happened Friday morning, uh, hashtag Me Too Marilyn, which was organized by Trina Turk and a number of uh, other prominent city uh, people, like it involved in the art museum and PS uh, ModCom, which is the Palm Springs Modern Committee and a few right. other main speakers. So the night before, we actually got together, a, a, group, of, uh, a group of us got together and did sign making, we made our protest signs and mm -hmm. Trina provided a number of protest signs and the Me Too Maryland t-shirts. Uh, the main point is that the, the statue of 26 foot tall statue of Marilyn Monroe is positioned now to be placed right in the middle of Museum Way, which is, was a through street. And it was, there was a design decision made a number of years ago that Museum Way should stay open and create a sight line in, into the historic, it's an historic site, the Palm Springs Art Museum. So now with Marilyn right there, and it's, um, it's a very sexist image of her with her skirt blowing completely up in the back. So when people walk out of the museum, that's what they see, panties, you know? So. Yeah, I, anyway. I just, I don't, I don't, I just don't get why it needs to be in the middle of the street. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, it's, I just don't get it. We, we, we don't either. And things happened that, uh, that people in the city weren't uh, um, made, made aware of. Um, most of this was uh, done under the pressure or I don't wanna say pressure really, but like just the push from PS Resorts, which is the hotel group of all the resort hotels here, which actually uh, were the ones in instrumental in bringing Meredith, Merid Marilyn back into Palm Springs, because she was here before a number of years ago, but she's right. traveled around the country. Yeah, well, I'm, gl I'm glad you were there. At least now our viewers know and they can see some of the photos and, and video from what, what, what went on during the weekend. And yeah, it'll happen and, again. And it was a good sized crowd. And the goal is to keep the crowd building and building and the pressure mounting. Um, so every Friday morning at 10 o'clock at, at the pedestal where she's to be placed, where Marilyn is to be placed, is a peaceful protest. We'll keep our viewers current on what's going on with that. Yes. Right. All right. Sounds good. So um, this week, this past week, I participated in a Cathedral City event. The Boys and Girls Club of Cathedral City has an annual award show, award presentation they do with all of their folks. And this year, because it was all virtual, the usual Nicolino's restaurant in Cathedral City, who always provides the pasta dinners, this year did something different. You could order your pasta dinner uh, over the phone, of course, go and pick it up. And all the money that went to getting your food goes directly to the Boys and Girls Club. And it was really nice because they had it very socially distant or organized. So you could pull up in your car and some of the boys and girls in the club would, would sign you in and you go to another section and they would sign you in and they, you get your food and off you went and you could go back home and you could watch the award show on, on your computer if you want to. A neat way to make sure money keeps on moving around here in the desert, especially for the Boys and Girls Club of Cathedral City. Oh, it's that's good, great. Cost. So it sounds like it was a success. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. So that's always good. Okay, that's great. So Conrad, let's talk about your interview with Peter Grant, the photographer that um, has this very, as I, as I said before, it's very art, artfully risque book of men called 
Athletes. Athletes, correct. Well, his name is Peter Grant. He's he's a Rancho Mirage resident, a resident for the past year. He's been a fine arts photographer and portrait photographer for a long time. He left the business for various reasons. He's back again for the past five years. He's been putting this physique, physical book, photo book together. It's called Athletes. Let's take a listen to uh, the interview I had with him. Very interesting gentleman. Let's take a look. All right. It's pretty safe to say that most homes have one or two coffee table books, or maybe just maybe you are looking for a new coffee table book. If you are, this is your segment. Let's welcome to Palm Springs Point of View, Peter Grant. How are you, Peter? Hi, Conrad. I'm very good. Thank you. Welcome to Palm Springs Point of View. I want to let our viewers know that you are a Rancho Mirage resident. Is that correct? I am for the last year and a half. And today we're going to be talking about your coffee table book that you have out. It is called Athletes. This is something that you've been working on for the past, I believe, five years or so. Peter, the book has been in process. How long did it take for you to, to put it together? It took about six months to put it together, but it was a compilation of about four years worth of weekend work. You've had a variety of photos in uh, Vanity Fair, Washingtonian Magazine, uh, Sotheby's. Uh, You've done a variety of uh, book jacket portraits. How does someone go from being what I would consider, let's just say, a photographer, whatever that means, to someone who's in demand and gets their ability to have their photos in these different publications? You start knocking on doors once you have something to show people. You walk around New York with a giant portfolio when it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> knock on doors and, and give people your business card. And it is pretty safe to say that being a photographer, it, it, it is all you. It I'm glad you emphasized that because it is all me. Um, I don't have a makeup artist. I don't have, I often work with no assistant. So I'm scouting locations, finding a model, styling everything. So like it or not, it's 100% me. 100% you. All right. So let's, the book is called Athletes. Tell us about where the idea came from or how did the idea come out? Well, the fitness industry was really tiny back in you know, 30 years ago. And I did give up photography for quite a while, for, you know, as a full time profession. And then now we're in the 2000s and the fitness industry is a multi billion dollar business. And so I thought, I'm going to try this one more time because creating images on this level and in this type of market is no less than my life dream and to be taken seriously. Yes, yes. And I notice in this book, Athletes, it's mainly male figures, but I, you do also, I saw, I've seen some female figure of photographs that you've done also. It is male figures and they range from 20 to 63 years old. So there's also diversity there. And uh, yes, I've been doing more female figures. It's a little easier to get a man to take his clothes off than a woman. They don't know you. Um, so I decided to focus specifically in one area until I you know, got a, a stronger base and started to branch out. Let's talk about some of, about, about the photos and about your models and or athletes. Are these all models or all these are they all athletes? One or two people in the book are actually models. I had to sort of work up to getting them to work with me. Many of them are just the person next to you at the gym or the athlete you might see running down the street or the guy who's walking by when you're sitting at a table who everybody else their head turns to see who it is <laughs> so they get a business card. And so let's talk about some of these amazing photos that you have. I would like to speak about one photo that just it, it, it it did something for me when I saw it. I had to come back to it a couple of times. And that is, I believe the athlete or the model's name is Kevin Ma. It is a photo that is very prominent in that the, the figure, the body is very forward of the camera and the background obviously is a background, but there's such a distinction between the two and the lighting of the actor or of the uh, athlete is almost alabaster looking. Yes. And it's just like a sculpture almost. Did you go in with that idea? I did, to a certain extent. Um, I actually was shooting on location in the woods with a studio light so I could pop up his skin tones. Let's pick one that you would like to talk about. I really enjoy the angel image. Oh, it's a big yes. challenge for me. Um, 
many photographers do angel images, but it's a Photoshop composite of wings on model. I wanted to try and pull it off as a photographer. So I actually had custom made wings that are 12 foot wingspan and work directly with the model in real life. Wow. It was wow. a big challenge. I didn't know if it was going to work, but I'm pretty happy with the. There is, uh, I think, a, a photo of a gentleman on a horse. Tell us a little bit about that one. I, was, I had a, a long term desire to shoot a model on a horse. And for me, this particular horse image you're talking of just seemed to, it actually reminded me of the, the statues on the Memorial Bridge that are just strong and they have you know, it's a strong horse with wings and Pegasus. And even though there aren't wings on this, it conveys a lot of that same strength. Yes. For me, this particular image was the money shot over the weekend. And so the book is out. Uh, you are doing you are doing uh, portrait photography. You are doing fine art photography. Can you provide us with some ways that people can get a hold of you? Yes, I can be reached on Instagram. You can direct message me. I can be reached on Facebook through direct message, or you can send me a message at petergrantstudios.com. You can also order my book directly on that, my website. His name is Peter Grant. He is a fine art and portrait photographer. He has a book out called uh, Athletes. You can purchase it now and you can give him a call, give him a ring to see if maybe you want to do a photo shoot with him. Well, Conrad, Peter's book is a, the, a ma makes a major statement on anyone's coffee table, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, who doesn't, who doesn't want a coffee table book that looks like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, 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 the photos are beautifully shot. Yes. And, and, all, and if you saw it on, you went over to some friends and saw it on your table, on their coffee table, you, there's no way you couldn't, you couldn't not look, right? <laughs> Most definitely. And, you know, I'm, yeah. really, I'm really happy that he, he's, he's seen our show he reached out to me because he knows I review books and he asked me, would, would we be interested? Could we? And here we are, right? We're always yeah, trying to promote. I think that's great. And I, yeah. I, I understand now that he also photographs women. I thought maybe it was just more about men's bodies, but yeah. uh, it seems like he's got quite a, um, quite a diverse background. Yeah, well, you know, he's a fine art and portrait photographer. So the fine art part is this physiques and the bodies and all that. And then he does portrait photography also. So headshots and, you know, stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. So, of course, Peter Grant, he's an interesting guy to talk to. And what you don't see in the video is we had a lot of time to talk. And there's a lot more information about him that I think was pretty interesting. But, you know, it's all about the book Athletes. And so it's, it's a good, good coffee table book. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, onward and upward, and uh, we're on to our next week. That's right. Uh, and we see, one thing I thought of, I, I, I'm noticing around town is it seems like some of the snowbirds are kind of leaving at this point. It's kind of starting to quiet down a little bit, don't you think? It is, and you know, I'll come because our summer is upon us, I think. Yeah. It is getting yeah. hotter and hotter. Although today's Everybody. beautiful, so you never know, but I think it's know. probably going to go back. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it's okay, great Claudia. pool time, excellent pool time right yes. now. Yes. I can't wait. I'm ready. I know. I know. All righty. You have a okay. good weekend or week. Bye. Bye-bye.